What's going on guys? Today in this video, we are doing something a little out of the ordinary and we're gonna go off of doing our meal delivery services and actually do uh, air fryer recipes. I actually got gifted this recently and we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, today, we are making some air fried french fries and some air fried chicken tenders. So uh, we might actually turn them into nuggets, I'm not quite, quite sure yet, but it should come out really good. I'm super excited to try it. And as always guys, if you like this content, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that sub button, and turn on notifications. That way you get notified when we put out more content just like this. And with that said, let's get into the video. As always guys, before we start cooking, let's go over all the ingredients we need to make this delicious dish. Items we need are two potatoes, about a pound of boneless chicken tenders, yellow mustard, Dijon mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise, salt, pepper, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, olive oil, and olive oil spray as well. We also need panko breadcrumbs seasoned and plain breadcrumbs. And that's everything you need to make this delicious dish. Okay, so let's start off by making the chicken marinade. Take a bowl and add a quarter cup of mayo to it. Next, add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I apologize, I didn't include this in the ingredients, but we take one clove of garlic and press it. And that's one large clove, clove of garlic. And then we mix well. Next, take one pound of the chicken and take the tenders and cut them into pieces into the marinade and mix. Make sure if you're handling the chicken, you wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. Once the chicken's cut, mix well. Once the chicken's mixed, let it marinate. The longer you let it marinate, the better. Mrs. Boy G's isn't gonna be home for a while, so I'm gonna wrap it and put it in the fridge and let it marinate for a little bit. While the chicken marinates, let's start prepping our potatoes. Take your two large potatoes and cut them into about three eighths of an inch slices. and then place in water to de-starch. I like to let this do this for quite a while. So once the potatoes soak for a while, drain them. Then lay them out on a paper towel lined plate. And pat dry. While the potatoes are drying, let's put together the breadcrumb mixture. Okay, so in a bowl, combine a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, half a cup of plain breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and season with salt and pepper. And mix. Next, take the marinated chicken, toss it in the breadcrumbs, and place it on a plate to rest. Preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees. Once the air fryer is preheated, open it, spray with a little bit of the olive oil. Then place some chicken inside. Mm -hmm. 
spray the chicken and close it up. Let it cook for about five minutes per side, then open back up, flip, spray again with the olive oil, and then close back up for another five minutes. Okay, so now that it's been another five minutes, we're gonna open it up, take them out, place them on a paper line, towel line plate to cool. And then if you have more to put in, put in the next batch. Don't forget to spray it with the olive oil uh, for the next batch as well. While the chicken is cooking, take the fries, now that they're dry, and place them into a large bowl. Coat with two teaspoons of olive oil. Season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. Toss well and coat all the fries with the seasoning and oil. Okay, so once you're done cooking the chicken, wipe out your air fryer, clean it out well, and then place your french fries, well spaced, stacked in the air fryer, and then cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. You kind of want to shake them up every about five to six minutes while it's cooking and cook until nice and crisp. So while the fries are cooking, let's make some sauce. It's a simple sauce. We're going to take a bowl and mix some mayonnaise, ketchup, and yellow mustard together. Season with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder and mix well. Once the fries are done cook cooking, take them out and let them cool on a paper towel lined plate and season with a little bit of salt. Okay guys, now that everything's ready, we're ready to play off. We're gonna take some fries and some nuggets, put them right on the plate, and on the side we have our special sauce. So let's do it. So we're gonna take about half the fries. Lay them out right here. Nice and crispy. We have some nuggies. We're gonna take some nuggets and throw them on there. They're nice and crispy and hot as well. Awesome plate right there. And there you guys go. There's the air fried chicken nuggets and french fries. Looks absolutely delicious. And there you guys go. That's how you make chicken nuggets and french fries in the air fryer. Guys, I really enjoyed this meal. Uh, it did take a while to make both of them in the air fryer, so I wouldn't recommend making both of them at the same time. But each of them were really good. The fries were nice and crispy, seasoned well, and the chicken nuggets were tender but juicy and had a nice crisp to it. As always guys, if you like this content, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that sub button, turn on notifications. That way you get notified when we put out more content just like this. If you guys want to see me do more things in the air fryer or just make other recipes as well, comment down below what you'd like me to make. As always guys, if you did like this video, you probably like these videos right here as well. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.